Hello Capricorn and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of May 27th through June 6th. I just want to have a focus on the plate because it's extremely watery and this was forming a heart and because it is merging a lot and it kind of broke off. Um, this could indicate if someone you've been missing terribly is a good idea to contact them. I don't know, this could be anyone for any of you, and there's a foot here too. So making the first step would be more on your side. So if you're missing someone, contact them, call them. And there's an opening with home foundation here too. And I'll read the rest of it. Let's see how much more it merges. Cause see, it's very, very watery. And I just wanna read them as they're going. So it could be a very emotional week. It's like going through all waves of emotion this week too, okay? And it's like you're slow, slow to move on something. Maybe, you know, why torment yourself? It's, in other words, if you want to contact someone, you should. Um, you could be missing someone terribly or someone also you. You never know because we're just seeing that. And there's a question mark here too. So it keeps forming and moving. So I wanted to start on the plate right away. But we'll get to the plate again. Yeah, you've got a huge spade here and a new direction. Okay, so I'm seeing that energy too. So some of you could be dealing with something very legal. Uh, this could be a sale of a house, thinking of moving, um, on the verge of moving too. So I'm seeing that energy too. Uh, leaving some certain situations behind, I am seeing that energy coming through too. It's like some of you just want to get away. It's like if you could be anywhere else, um, you know, it's like you just don't want to be where you are or whatever it is. It's like you just want to like run away and get away or something. But you can't because it's if for some of you, it's like maybe more obligations or something happening. Um, I do see these are ideas. You've got these ideas or thoughts coming into your head. For some of you, you could be dealing with a lot of youthful energy this week. So your children could be in focus as well. Okay. Um, I'm seeing that energy too. It's kind of an underlining energy. There could be some news coming in as well. All right. I do see um, there could be an offer made. Um, this is also with home. I've seen it with another sign, very similar energy. Who was it? I don't know. I am got five more readings to do after you guys. I can't remember who it was, but this could be either you put your house up for sale, you get an offer or you make an offer in a house. So something to deal with real estate too. Also, it could be with work or your business. Okay. Maybe you get an offer, a new contract, more clients, something like that, or changes there are occurring too. So I do see that energy too. Um, I also see very new beginnings coming through. You've got a lot of beginnings, beginnings coming through too. Okay. This is a great ideas um, on the right path with some things. I do see, um, you know, taking a little bit of a risk, um, adventurous energy coming through as well. But before you take any like um, sudden or impulsive risks or decisions, Make sure that um, you think it through. I do see patience is very important this week too. But try to do something a little bit different. Okay, so that's one thing too. And trying to balance out some energies here. I do see a lot of thoughts of the future. A lot of thoughts are compounding your mind as well this week from what I'm seeing here um, too. It's like if you could be anywhere else than where you are now, it's like you want to kind of like get away, whatever it is. But you can't. And since you're here in the present moment or wherever you are, you might as well kind of face the music, so to speak. OK, it's like the situation or whatever that maybe you're dealing with is not nearly as bad as you you might think. OK, and you may actually have some kind of fun dealing with some things. OK, try things in a different way from what I'm seeing. OK. In sense of a challenge, yes, but um, like I said, diversity or something like that is showing up. Um, it's like it's not a piece of cake this week either, but it's nothing that you can't handle this week either. So just know that if someone needed to hear that out there. So that's something I'm seeing as well. All right. So, man, you got a lot of strong energies. This could be even, you know, thoughts of people from a distance, something like that, too, dealing maybe with children as well. So a lot of kind of changes happening. And I think you're going through a transitional mode. It's like some of you may feel change is coming. And you have that feeling inside and that's causing some kind of frustration. Or there's going to be some kind of major move, home foundation, certain areas in your life coming up in the future, too. Okay. Now, on the plate, like we were already speaking, all right, it's very interesting. I do see some situations, people, 
will be leaving your life. I also do see you cutting, editing things out, but I also see high. It's like you're highly defensive this week, so just be careful of that too. Um, some of you could be dealing with children. This could be a separation with a child too. Okay, so I'm seeing that maybe a child goes off, moves away, um, goes on vacation for a while, goes um, something like that is showing up too. So I'm seeing that energy as well. I do see for some of you, there could be news of a pregnancy or pregnancy too. Okay, so I'm seeing that energy coming through as well. Um, make sure that you say no to anything you do not want to do or you can't. So, so know what your limits are as well. Follow through from others could be a little iffy too. Okay, so I'm seeing that energy as well. But there's a rebirthing here. Okay, so I'm seeing it's like an, 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 um, a rebirthing coming through as well. There is some of you just dealing with some kind of pain from the past um, or some things that just have been bothering you. I do see that there could be someone, this could be matters of the heart where there could be a third person's opinion, third person involved, um, meddling in a relationship, something like that too. Overall, when I saw that heart, it's like it's a heart and someone who's locked in your heart, okay? There's something there, all right? But this is clearing the path here and uh, building upon your um, home and foundation. Something new is going to be shifting in as well. And then there's going to be this transformative change. Some things are beyond your control. This could be a long distance move coming up. Maybe something will irk your temper this week too. And then just know that that will come with some kind of decisions or indecisions too and choices to, um, that you need to be, that need to be made. There can be some certain second chances coming back to and opportunities. Okay. I'm seeing that too. For others, you could be also dealing with karmic energy. It's like what you sowed, you're reaping now. Good or for good or bad. Okay. So that's um, another thing because we're seeing a lot of like, it's like kind of a grayish, whitish um, specks coming through. And that's very unusual. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot of things um, resurfing. Some things are just coming to light here that maybe it's internal things that you just need to deal with as well. you got a lot going on. So that would be mostly a private reading. But definitely if, um, if there's anyone that you really miss or something, it it um it would be good to contact them just a simple phone call message or something okay that's one thing i'm seeing as well well that was your reading capricorn now um i do want to say that i will be doing the monthly readings and they will be posted on tuesday evening so you can look out for those I do not do private readings on weekends, and I will not be doing any private readings this Monday. So any readings that um, or orders that are be placed like Friday evening will be scheduled for Tuesday and on. And you can always check my website, my updates page. Always, always um, updates what's going on and all that. And I always have discounts and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, Capricorn, this was a reading for the week of May twenty seventh through. June 2nd. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will catch you back next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, all the best and bye for now.